Hey guys, this is Ryguy Gaming here today, and today I am back with another tutorial. Real quick, I'm sorry there wasn't a video yesterday. I was with family, and so I was unable to do one. But today, um, as you can see right here, we will be doing a clock GUI, and this time, yes, it will be AM and PM, and you won't have to worry about military time, as we call it in the US of A. But for those of you in Europe who apparently like to the 24-hour clock, you should go check out my other video <laughs> where it is a 24-hour clock because that one's actually a lot easier to do. But anyway, so today we have two scripts and a GUI, of course. So go ahead and make your GUI whatever you want it to look like. It just should be a text label, something that can display text. Um, and that's about it. As you can see, mine is pretty simple. And now inside of the GUI, all you need is a script that updates the text on the label. So as you can see here, we get the replicated storage service, and then we find the event. And I have named mine event, as you can see right here, I named it change time. And so when the client is fired or the client gets an event, I don't know what you want to say. Um, the text is updated with whatever is given to it from the server. So this will be filled with the time. And so let's go ahead and hop into the server script now, which is in our server script storage. Um, and so here we are. First we get the game.lighting service. Um, this just this isn't necessary. It just makes it so we don't have to type game dot lighting every time We can just type lighting um, and then we get that same event and then so this basically just runs on a loop and Depending on what the interval you set here to be will depend on how fast the Sun goes up and down So right now I have it at point one or point zero one now for testing just to show you guys that it works but um, if you want real time, you would put, of course, 60 in here because it will progress it every um, 60 seconds. It will go up one minute. So this would be like if it was real uh, in real life. Or if you want a quicker one, you can do one. I usually find that I like about 0.1, but with a clock, you might want it a little slower. So maybe try one. But just for testing, we're going to do. 0.01 um, and then the first thing we get is we have to actually create the whole um, string that we're gonna pass to the label um, because it's a little bit trickier with um, with the way that um, 12 hour clocks work. I don't know if that's what you call them, but that's what I'm going to call them. And so first we have to get the hours, which we get from dividing the minutes after midnight by 60 and then using math.floor to round down to the nearest whole number. So just to go over that again, basically this goes into the lighting service and gets how many minutes have elapsed since midnight. So at 1 a.m. it would be 60 minutes since midnight and then divided by 60 is 1 and so that's why your hour would then be 1 a.m. and so the math dot floor is for when you get decimals it will always round down to the nearest hour um, and then next we create a variable that holds the suffix um, right now mine is at a.m. Um, because I have my place time is if you can see here it's at 10 a.m. Um, and let me show you in lighting look down here to the properties the clock time says 10 so that's just why I have mine at a.m. Um, but it doesn't really matter what it starts out as and then we get the minutes which is just the <laughs> so there's probably a better way to do this but this is the way I did it I did lighting get minutes after midnight minus hours times 60 so um, basically this just gets the um, how many hours have elapsed since midnight and then subtracts off what's already shown in the hours um, I don't know if that makes sense but it works so uh, yeah. <laughs> um, and then next, this this is what handles the everything over um, 
12 p.m. and on so 12 1 2 3 all of them p.m. so this happens when the hours go over 11 um, it will start to do hours equals hours minus 12 so when we reach um, so when we reach 12 it will become you know it will start to go back down to like 1 2 3 and so the suffix then changes to p.m. and then hours if hours is equal to 0 which is midnight it will set hours equal to 12 and if minutes is greater than 10 it will put a, or sorry if minutes is less than 10 it will put a 0 before the number just to make it look nicer and so then we just create a text which is just a string of it all put together um, so it's hours colon minutes space suffix and then I fire the event that updates the text and then I um, increment the minutes after midnight like I normally would in a time progression script and just to show you that it works we'll go ahead and start and as you can see that flies along there um, now it's 12 p.m. 1 p.m. 2 p.m. 3 p.m. I, I sorry I'm gonna keep this going till we get back to the like 12 a.m. so 6 7 8 9 10 almost there 11 12 a.m. there you go so you see it updates to the a.m.s um, so yeah I know this script looks complicated but I've already done all the math for you <laughs> so you don't have to worry about that you can just copy and paste and it should work for you and as long as you set everything up like I have it but if you do run into problems let me know I'd be happy to help just be sure to post any error output you get it will show up in red down here like these but these aren't script errors these are asset errors which are different but um, anyways so yeah, and if you enjoyed this tutorial and you haven't yet, please be sure to subscribe and post a comment down below with any requests or suggestions you have for future tutorials, and I will get on those. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.